now, because we couldn't do the alternator pulley, I'm missing the tools to do it. That'll be tomorrow. We're gonna do the master cylinder brace, which is this guy right here. Um, when you come inside, here's the master cylinder. Here is the driver's side strut bar. Inside, under the strut bar, you'll see two little black stickers. If you take off the one that's closest to the firewall, you can still see the one that's closer to the front bumper in there. Take off the one that's closer to the firewall, per the instructions. Then you'll need a 10 millimeter ratcheting wrench is preferred. And you'll get in here, behind this little clip, there's this 10 millimeter bolt. I already loosened it, so you're gonna have to go behind the fuel line to start. And then after you break it loose, it'll have just enough grab to start grabbing it from the top end or the outside of the bolt. Ratcheting wrench is gonna make it faster. If you don't have one, a standard wrench is fine. All right, so once you get it loose enough that it's finger loose, it's a little difficult not to drop it. Pull it out, put it to the side. If you have a magnetic tray, that's definitely recommended. I'm not using it because, you know, I'm dumb. So, I haven't read the instructions. Joe, who's supposed to be reading the instructions for me, left and Alex is recording, so we're just gonna guess and check. I assume it goes in like this because it has the notch for the fuel line, which is why the new ones have the notch, the old ones do not. The first generations don't have that notch. But it looks like if you slide it in place, if I can get this in here without taking stuff apart. There we go. The notch fits perfectly over the fuel line. And then you have to get in there with the bolts to tighten it down. It includes two bolts and Allen keys for it. So we're gonna take a pause just to see if the bolts are different and which one takes a washer. And then we'll get right back to you. Oh. Back with a headlamp, make it a little <laughs> bit easier. All right, uh, grab the Allen key, get it on there. Now that I can actually see, I can make this work in theory. Uh, you have to kind of push the fuel rail line forward. Make sure to be careful when you're doing it so that you don't bend it, break it, whatever. Um, try to get it on as straight as possible so you don't cross thread it. Right now it's starting to go in. So we're looking like we're in pretty good shape. I'm just gonna do a couple of threads to get it started so that it's lined up. If you wanna make it easier, you can pull the whole bracket out right here and then do it. I'm not doing that because it's harder, but it's less work, in theory. Uh, you very well might actually have to pull it. It looks like there's just enough of a gap that you won't have to. But now, for getting this bolt in, you have to move it around. And these are vacuum lines, so they're okay to push around a little bit. I didn't really look at the part before I started doing the install, so I don't know exactly where the hole is. I'm just going based off of where I can see the hole where the old bolt was. Like I said, this definitely makes it more difficult, but then there's no chance of breaking all of the plastic clips. Where's the hole? <laughs> All right, so the hole's all the way back here. Of course it is, Chris. Right. What, you didn't know that? No, I did not. Because I didn't look at the freaking part before I started doing this. All right, so now that I have it lined up, you can pop it through the bracket. You then have to lift the bracket a little bit to get it lined up the rest of the way. Let's see if I can get my finger in there. And then once you get that lined up, you have to tighten it down, obviously. 
All right, so now that it's in, we can try to get in here with two fingers. Uh oh. <laughs> Did you just drop it again? No, but it fell out. Um, we're gonna put the Allen key. All right, so. And try to get in there with the Allen key. You're gonna have to go between the lines. All right, now that it's on there. This is the hard part because it's not threaded yet. So it can fall out pretty easily. And then we also don't have any daylight really. Ow. <laughs> All right, it's in by like a half thread, so I'm gonna tighten this down and then we will get back to you guys. So after you've got those two bolts in place, we were stupid and didn't follow the instructions and put the washer on. I'm gonna leave it because it's a pain in the ass to do. Put the washer on, do not forget that. That's important. Obviously, if it wasn't super difficult because I'm too lazy to take the plastic clips off, I do it down the road, I might fix it because you gotta recheck everything in five to seven days after driving. But after you get those two bolts on, start to tighten up. This guy right here, this is a lock nut. So just make sure it's got some pressure. Grab the supplied Allen key and just give her, give her a twist if I can get it on there. We're still having technical difficulties. So, this I didn't even attempt to do off camera. I wanted you guys to be able to see it. You have to move stuffs out of the way. This very well might be too big. I might be using the wrong one. <laughs> yeah, that feels like that's the wrong one. So let's use the small one. Whoa! <laughs> Turns out metal's magnetic. What in the shiver my timber? Oh, it's in backwards. All right, please hold. <laughs> so once you get this in there facing the right way, tighten it down and get this screw snug with the master cylinder brace. Come in, bring the lock nut to where it's got a little bit of pressure do one more solid turn so that this guy is nice and tight and then crank down that lock nut when you're all done with that you're gonna have to bend the hard line out of the way so that it clears perfectly it says that in the instructions just make sure you actually do it and you're all set like i said make sure you drive it for a couple days go through retighten everything down just to make sure that it's secure and I will do a review video on it for you guys as well and I will see you in the next one.